What's up, YouTube? It's your Lord and Savior King D353 of Nerps of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Hopes. In the last episode, we um learned about Ferdinand von Eyer's father's sch von <laughs> Ferdinand's father's schemes. In this episode, uh, we talk to our army. And, you know, if we have time after talking to our army, maybe we'll actually do a mission? Maybe. Anyway, hello ladies, how you doing? Hold up, let's do a height comparison. Ah! Monica's just as short as Edelgard. A rarity indeed, oh god, they've noticed me staring. <laughs> the former Duke Iyer is not the only problem we're facing. We have the Kingdom, the Alliance, and those within the Empire to contend with as well. Wait, why is the Alliance a problem? But we're teamed up with them. We must divide our attention among these many issues at, all at once. Let's see. That sounds like a ton of work. I wish there was more I could do outside of battle. <laughs> well, we have plenty of work to go around, so all you need to do is ask. I just realized that I now have a f***ing voice for Shez. <laughs> Shez is so not me if I don't even do him in my default voice anymore. Fuck, what was your voice, Monica? My house is following Her Majesty because I'm here. If that weren't the case, then I should expect they would have followed the former Duke instead. My house is very old-fashioned, you see. My father, the current Baron, is the uh, is an outlier, even among the rest of my house. He was forced into accepting the title, you know. Okay, Hubie Dooby Doo, what in evil schemes are you plotting over here? Might I borrow you? We almost have a complete grasp of their formation within Fort Mercius. However, that information alone does not guarantee our victory. The force defenses are substantial. The former Duke Iyer is quite capable, but those who sliver in the dark are likely assisting him. Mm. Yeah, he might be more powerful than we imagined. We'll have to stay on our toes when we lay siege to the foes. You think so? I may have praise for the former Duke's skillful capture of the fortress, <laughs> but I am no more inclined to pay heed to the fool's deployment of tactics, or his martial prowess. I think my voice for Hubert was a little bit off today. I think my voice for everyone's gonna be a little bit off, because I haven't done this in a while. Oh, hello. I was just coming up with a strategy. I know my father better than anyone, so it does not follow that I would be the best p So it does- So does it not follow that I would be the best per guess to guess at his thinking? Yeah, I don't know. You doing okay, Ferdinand? I can't imagine a father and son trying to kill each other. You need not worry about me. I am heir to House Iyer. I will walk with the right path for the Empire. How could I call myself a noble if I did not? Then again, does it matter if my voices are art? I've never been that great of a voice actor to begin with. Well, at least that dude was smart enough to walk around me. That is not the gatekeeper. Come to think of it. Caspar Caspar would often drag me along to Fort Mercius when we were children. We played there quite a bit. It is an enormous fortress city, with a sprawling town, open fields, and even a lake. All your imagination could come up with as a house within its great walls. It would be well worth taking a look around if we weren't going there for a battle. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I bet it looks way different from Ar Aryan Road. I'm excited to see it. Undaunted, are you? Well, I suppose that's nothing new. I'm really bad at getting these support bonuses. Granted, not every conversation gives a support bonus, but I feel like a lot of them do. This never would have happened if my father had been at the fort. No point crying over spilt milk, though. We're just going to take the fort back. And I know my brother's been taken hostage. 
but you don't need to worry about him. He was prepared for this. We're a warrior family, after all. What about your other family members? They're not being held hostage, are they? Nah, no need to worry. Everyone else is in the capital. That's where most of the nobles are, you know? Edelgard. We're gonna take power from the nobles and make it so everyone can succeed. Also, Edelgard. All the nobles in the capital, now. Duke Iyer. Wait. He's now the former Duke Iyer, right? I wonder where he's been all this time. He must have holed himself up somewhere. I wish I had a place like that. Aid you know, says the nobility shouldn't exist anymore. I guess you could say this is the first step in that direction. Do you agree? I knew that would be the answer she wants. Dorothea is racist against the rich. Classist? She's classist against the rich, so of course she'd want something that gives her a chance to badmouth them. Do you agree with her? That the nobility should be done away with, I mean? Of course I wouldn't be fighting with her if I didn't. There's Petra. Thank you for loading into existence. Aryan Road, the Silver Maiden. Mercurius is the stubborn old ge general, yes? Despite being a maiden, she was formidable. I am imagining the old general is even more gr greatly formidable. Maiden is more formidable. Wouldn't the maiden be more formidable? The old general is, well, old. Are you thinking so? I am the opposite. We must be wary of veteran wisdom and skill. A maiden's heart is easy to be changed. Oh? What'd I do to change your heart, Petra? Actually, not a thing, but I guess her heart is easily changed. I was... Sh Shez? Oh, are you just grabbing her chest? Only I can do that, Shez. <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, though. I guess Petra's heart was easily changed in the Golden Deer route. I did recruit her, basically. What am I doing? I walked past you for a moment. Oh, Dwayne! Do you want to come with me to Harem later? And help with the rebuilding efforts? There's all kinds of work that needs doing. Stuff like building repairs and tossing out rubble. Sure. Of course I'll go. You know, I haven't seen you look this cheerful in a while. You've been depressed ever since we captured you as a prisoner of war. Is that so? Sorry if I made you worry. I want the townsfolk to go back to their regular old lives as soon as possible. Ash, you may be suffering from depression, my dude, but you are definitely a knight. Also, hello, support conversation. Guess we are having the support today. Oh, right, I don't have the auto one anymore. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Not much, just perusing this tactics book. Have you read it before? I sure have. It was popular in Leicester a few years back, if I remember right. I picked it up myself back at the monastery, but it was so dense it took me ages to finish. Speaking of that Leicester comment, did you guys know that Ash was apparently originally supposed to be a golden deer? Apparently, Ash was supposed to be a golden deer, and Marianne was supposed to be a blue lion. But the game developers realized, holy shit, the Lester Alliance is really arrow-heavy. Heck, you'll notice even now, the Lester Alliance is still arrow-heavy. They have three archers, with one of them being their main lord. <laughs> so they are like, yeah, let's um, change this out. Let's uh, replace it with, ah, the Lester Alliance needs a healer. We'll give them Marianne. So, Ash became a blue lion, and Marianne became a golden deer. If memory serves, I could be wrong on this one, but if memory serves, as almost a reference of sorts to this, Ash has a support with Claude, 
And Marianne has a support with Dimitri in the final game. Free houses, I mean, not free hopes. Anyway, back to the support. It's a pretty tough one, I'll give you that. But there's some great stuff in here too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on. You were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Uh, yeah. What's your point? I guess I'm just impressed you can handle such an obtuse book, given your upbringing. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. Honestly, I've been wondering who taught you ever since our time at the Academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. Nah, it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. Looking back on it now, it is kind of weird that someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Well, I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. At the very least, it's obvious she was well-educated. That's clear just from looking at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. No, he doesn't. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of luxury. That last thing is a lie. <laughs> This man can't read a map to save his fucking life. Gladly accept the compliment. You really think? Yeesh, you're gonna make a guy blush. I only have my mom to thank for raising me so well, though. Yeah, she must have been an incredible woman. You know, I didn't know how to read myself until I met Lenato. Huh. And now that you mention it, I never really saw the other mercs in my company with a book in their hands. Except for the captain, of course. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. But it's not like I can ask her now. She's gone. Oh. That was a depressing note to end it on. You hear that, Dwayne? He's telling me I shouldn't fight. Can you believe that? All I said is there's no need for you to go out of your way. I can kill in your place. It wouldn't be a problem. Wait, that wouldn't work. You occupy completely different roles in battle. Doesn't make sense for you to take over for her. That's right. I have my own role, and you have yours. Once this battle is over, we will be continuing our fight in the kingdom. You would be unhappy if you had to strike down old acquaintances. A small part of me regrets not having Marianne- not Marianne- Mercedes fight Annie to see how they'd react. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I'm alright now. You don't have to worry about me. I was totally expecting her to now have the support conversation thing. Then again, I guess I've been casually getting supports with Ash more than I have Mercedes. My father returned to Gloucester to bolster security on the Br Great Bridge of Murden. Wait, did I not kill your father? He mentioned that he prepare in case forces Sympathetic to this rebellion appear. He encourages me to serve the Empire, while he remains quite concerned about a luster. He has always been difficult to read, but I feel as though I've grown to understand him better as of late. By the way, stupid question. Is Lawrence's name Lawrence or Lorenz? I always called it him Lorenz, but everyone else calls him Lawrence. 
And now I'm wondering if I'm a raging dumbass. Comment below. Some Imperial servers over there are having a real big serious conversation. I listened in, I kept hearing him say something uh, something like Funya Munya. Wonder what that's all about. Maybe it's an unknown language? Maybe you heard the enemy using some unknown language. The bad guys have got some real inscrutable characters among them. I'm sorry, Shaz, did you just say everybody who can't speak English is inscrutable? Oh yeah, that makes sense. You're so smart. Hmm. Wait, maybe it wasn't Funya Munya. Could have been Fenya Menya? I don't know, Raph, but thank you for your input. Moving on to some with brains. Hey, Iggy, what's your nerdy ass doing? Oh, it's you. Fort Mercius is an impenetrable fortress city that was designed to serve as defense for the Imperial capital. It's also called the Stubborn Old General, as that nickname suggests it has a very long history. Taking it back won't be a simple matter, but I hope I can have a good look around if we manage to win. You know, I was wondering if I could do Ignatz's um, extra chapter, but I just realized I did do theirs, and I just forgot about it. Hi, Lysithia. I heard there was a number of suspicious mages among the forces that attacked Fort Mercius. There can be no doubt now. This is the work of those who sliver in the dark. I couldn't care less about the former Duke Iyer, but we absolutely have to get their leader this time. You know, part of me does wonder why Lysiphia and Ferdinand seem to be connected to one another, or one another. Because not only do they have a mission together in the last game, they're one of the few cross-class um, pairs to have a support in this game. Makes me wonder if there's something specifically linking the two of them. And if you're thinking, well, it's obvious what links them. It says it in their in their uh, mission. I I never played their paralogue in uh, Free Houses yet, so uh, yeah. I hope everyone's been taken hostages all right. Will they be punished for our attack? Oh goddess, please do something, my dumbass skipped. Oh goddess, please protect them. Yuri Bird, what you doing? Right. So they seized the fort during the Minister of Military Affairs' absence. Heh, <laughs> what did I tell you? We have to treat this as though the entire town has been taken hostage against us, too. We cannot mess this up. Not only that, but they hold themselves up in the infamous Fort Mercies of all places. How on earth are we supposed to tackle that? Do you have a plan? Do you have some sort of secret plan, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, like fretting over some hidden passages or something? What? What? You want to put me to work, too? I might consider if you preside enough incentive. Though neither you nor Her Majesty could afford that price for me to risk my life. You are honestly one of the people in this ward I would not be sad if you died. I do not like Yuri at all, man. Maybe it's a good thing I never finished Cinder's Shadow, so I got to see less of him. Ugh, this is real bad news. There's this guy back in Embar that I owe a whole bu Okay, s stop that. <laughs> There's this guy back in Embar that I owe a whole bunch of money to, and now he's joined up with the old Duke Iyer? Why is it bad news? Why is that bad news? Just pay him back. That's what's so bad about this. If he falls in this fight, then I couldn't pay him back and even if I wanted to. Just feels lousy, like I'm wriggling out of my debt. Wait, what? Did it? I'm sorry, did you not kill your debt collectors in your Golden Deer Paralogue? Since when do you care about paying the debts? What? Am I misunderstanding how this man works? Did you hear that in efforts to overthrow the Emperor, Duke Iyer called on countless nobles to try and negotiate? However, 
Why was House Nouvelle not among them? Does our revival not serve as an attractive lore for other regions? Hmm, maybe it's been too long since you lost your title? I guess he didn't think you had enough influence to be of any use. Hmm. There may be some truth in that, but I find it extremely irritating to be passed over in such a way. I think that was a lose-lose situation. Got a sec? I guess those who sliver in the dark aren't moonlit, aren't monolithic, huh? There was Cornelia, and Talus was it? And now Solon. I think they all just do whatever they want to do. I wonder if they'll pop up again in Mercius. I am grateful. You were great to help me in here, Manuela. I am truly glad you were there. She wasn't, though. I didn't. I didn't put her on the team. <laughs> Can you please not, Hanuman? It chills me to my core when you thank me so ex earnestly. Excuse me. Of all the nerve, I am attempting to offer my heartfelt thanks, and you claim I give you the chills. Did no one treat you? Teach you proper manners? That's none of your concern, you doddering old geezer. Honestly, this feels like a gratitude and more like openly insulting me. I feel like I got Hanuman's voice better when arguing, and Manuela's voice worse while arguing. Somehow. <laughs> Excuse me. You know who is behind this insurrection, don't you? I wonder if you're equipped to deal with another opponent while the Ashen Demon still draws breath. That line feels weird since I actually have the Ashen Demon recruited on the end of her file. But equipped or no, this war will take a turn for the worse before long. I promise I will do what I can to aid you when it does. You were supposed to be the last one, but I accidentally skipped over Shamir. Hmm. I see. Our enemies this time are the Empire's old rulers. This is good. We'll be able to bring them down without a complicated hassle afterwards. But to be honest, I wouldn't mind taking out those who've changed sides to join Edelgard either. What do you mean? All right. I've been in some life or death battles with the Empire before when I was a mercenary in Dagda. All I mean is that there are plenty of people who want to get even for the past. Understandable. Alright, what time are we at? 23 minutes. Alright, technically I should be stopping here because I was told around 20 minutes is the correct time for an episode, but I feel bad if all we did was read people's dialogue, so let's do a map. They tend to take 7 minutes at most after all. We have Anna and no paralogs. Okay. I don't care about the S rank reward here. Not at all. Alright, so this should be a relatively quick one because I honestly do not give a damn. I'll follow your lead. Here I go. No mistake. Alright, Edelgard, you can fight the archers. Ferdinand, fight the sword boys. And I'll cleave through everything. Oh, um, Edelgard actually attack that person because they can't reach shit, and me attack that person because they can't reach shit. Watch this. 
my mark. I know what to do. Get out of my mark. Okay, Edelgard killed hers. Here I go. Now no, take that place because why place. not? There's not a question. You can. take this one because this why way. not? Take up we weren't strong enough. You're done. Now, will this all but guarantee I don't get an S? Correct, but I don't care. I don't want a fucking devil axe. Ooh, side mission. Um... Forget you for a second, Edelgard. I want, uh... I very much want to do the side mission, because I like getting extra stit. I'm so close to the S rank, I might as well just get it. Yeah, we're good. And then some. Did I really just do that in two minutes? <laughs> this episode isn't even gonna hit 22. Wait, no, yes it is. It was at 23 before. This is about to be at 25, 26 minutes. Can't wait to not use that devil axe. Oh wait, no. I'm not clipping past that because the cutscene's about to start and that's where I'm supposed to end the episode off. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you all. If you enjoyed it and feel like it, you can do it to you at buymeacoffee.com slash kd free five free. For as low as a dollar, you can join us on the personal Discord. We can chat, play video games, share memes, and have ourselves a grand old time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all you beautiful people later. Deuces, YouTube.